Hi everyone, this is a quick video on some tips if you want to fix your um, welder if it randomly goes bad and starts making weird noises. Um, this here is a regular uh, MIG welder. Um, when you open them up they're fairly simple on the inside, there's not a whole lot of components. Um, you've got a transformer down here and, and some other things in there, some um, stuff. But what usually happens if these goes bad is this thing in here, this is um, what converts the AC to DC. Um, this welder is 240 volts AC and it will convert to 30 volts DC. And in doing so, the current goes up and obviously, um, the, you know, the, uh, the voltage goes down. But what, how this works, this is called a rectifier bridge. And it's really important to understand how the AC gets converted to DC if you want to fix this. What happens in here is, well, what happened to me is there was, we see these, um, these things right here. One of these went bad um, from the original um, manufacturer. And it's quite common that they're not, they're very inexpensive and they will pop and break. Um, so what I've done is I've ordered some replacement, they're called they're diodes. I've ordered eight replacement diodes to replace the eight original ones and wired them um, wired them back together like the original ones were and put them back in. But what you need to understand is the way the current flows. And in this in a, in a situation like this, and there are other variants of um, how this is set up in other welders, but for this particular welder, what happens is the the AC legs come in on this plate and this plate so um, AC will come in here then AC will be coming in here if you like to think of it as because AC is a fluctuating up and down current so it'll go in here then go in here go in here then go in here and what has to happen is all the current has to flow from these two plates towards this central leg here which is connected in the middle and you can see there are insulators that insulate between where the two AC poles come in There's little ceramic insulators down there so the, what happens, the AC comes in here, it goes through this diode and another one which is on the opposite side of it on the bottom and flows through this way and up into this, this um, positive leg which actually then goes to the MIG torch. And after it flows through the MIG torch, it comes down, you can see the red wire goes in there. It ends up coming back on the negative side, back through this transformer and back up into this position here. So what happens is as the AC current flows out of that leg, it goes all the way through the torch, comes back, and comes back into this plate here, which is joined by this, this bar across to this plate here. So these two plates receive the return current, and it, that then flows back through this diode here and one on the opposite side, as well as this diode here and this diode here, back towards um, where it came from originally on the two AC legs. So I'll, show, I'll link a picture of this and also a video of a guy who I keyed off to, to, um, to do this. But what I ended up needing was eight um, HFR diodes, they were called. I'll link to those to replace the eight that I had. In the video I watched, he used um, regular diodes like this, but also some which you can see a little arrow there, which suggests the way the current flows. He had some which went the other way, but in this, my setup, they weren't useful. You actually needed eight of all this same type, so you could have always have the current flowing from this. Just think of it as flowing from outside to inside. So it flows from here, through here, back up into here, then back through this diode and into the into the positive. So this is um this is uh, I I was just had it working, which is really nice because this is quite an expensive MIG welder. I hope this video might be useful for people who are trying to fix theirs.